Hi, this is John Bifus, and I'm back this week to review three new movies. The first of these is My Sister's Keeper, with Abigail Breslin as a girl who sues her parents for the, quote, medical emancipation, unquote, of her body. You know, movies generally become big hits when they break down an audience's resistance to any of three involuntary physical reactions. The first is laughing, the second is screaming, and the third is crying. Judging from the sniffles and even sobs that almost never stopped during a recent packed preview screening, My Sister's Keeper, based on the best-selling novel, should be a boon to the manufacturers of facial tissue as well as to movie exhibitors. The audience was wrapped. Almost never have I been among moviegoers who seem so intensely focused on the action on screen. My Sister's Keeper could be described as a typically melodramatic Lifetime Network courthouse drama staged in the style of a Sundance art film by suave director Nick Cassavetes. Abigail Breslin wants her parents to stop using her blood, marrow, and other body parts to save the life of her older sister, a leukemia patient. Tension increases when the girl's mother, an ex-lawyer played by Cameron Diaz, comes out of retirement to oppose her own daughter in court. My sister's keeper is certainly hokey at times, but the depiction of family life seems honest, and I give the movie three stars. Also opening this week is Away We Go, an occasionally very funny but also precious and hip comedy drama that could be described as Juno for grown-ups. Maya Rudolph of Saturday Night Live and John Krasinski of The Office star as a longtime unmarried couple who take a road trip across North America, essentially to audition cities to move to when their first baby arrives, which could be any day now, judging from the size of the Maya Rudolph character's stomach. Scripted by the husband and wife novelist team of Dave Eggers and Vendela Vita, the movie benefits from some wonderful episodes, especially the one in Madison, Wisconsin, where the couple meets Maggie Gyllenhaal as a new age professor who still suckles her preschool children. Unfortunately, the direction of Sam Mendes, who made American Beauty and Revolutionary Road, is somewhat stifling and pretentious. I give Away We Go two and a half stars. Finally, we come to Every Little Step, a documentary that may appeal to fans of American Idol as well as to fans of A Chorus Line, the landmark 1975 Broadway musical. Five, six, seven, eight! Every Little Step chronicles the months-long process of casting a 2006 revival of A Chorus Line. As the performers audition, you'll be reminded of TV reality talent shows, but these people are seasoned professionals, not amateurs or newcomers hoping to be struck by celebrity lightning. The movie offers an intriguing glimpse behind the Broadway curtain. I give it three stars. This is John Bifus. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back next week with more reviews, and be sure to check out my blog, The Bloodshot Eye.